Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, Monday afternoon, about one o'clock. What a miserable day we've got here in Blackpool. I think some of the country's actually experiencing um, some thunderstorms. I know in the West Midlands they are, but uh, I'm not sure what, which way it's going to go here, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, we're just at Blackpool uh, North train station. I'm just out on doing a few things, seeing a few people, so I'll take you with me today. Yeah, North Tram, tram Stop, I've mentioned this before. Just all where people are of it still. Once you get off the train, you walk through here, you grab yourself a tram. car park sorted out. So um I had mentioned this before but I understand Tesco Express is supposed to be coming here. But let's see. The information I got with Greg's was right anyway. But yeah this is a tram stop. Here's Greg's there. Hello, yeah, I'm just at the end of Cookson Street and, and Church, where meets Church Street and obviously Church Street in front of me is the one that goes down through the town and eventually onto the prom but I thought I'd bring it to a few people's attention that um, if you're not aware of it there's a, um, an antiques market retro vintage collectible market inside this region which is here on the end on the corner of Church Street now it's... Um, it's on three floors. I have been in there. There is a playlist for it. I will be going in there again soon. But if you're into sort of retro vintage stuff, antique stuff, uh, you'll be amazed at this place, yeah. It'll take you, it could take you two hours to walk around. Absolutely fascinating. But I thought I'd bring that to your attention. I say it is on a playlist, but uh, we'll go in again soon and we'll do some filming in there. But uh, yeah, let's con continue my journey now. So you were just looking down on Albert Road now, you don't see this part of Albert Road much because I started where the hotels start. But yeah, this is Albert Road. Uh, see the tower there in the background? And if you are here long term staying in Albert Road, if you come right to the very top and you need it, there's a laundrette there. This might be useful to somebody if you're here for a long period of time. And don't want to use the hotel facilities, but yeah. Just try to give a bit of information out to people. I might be able to help them. But yeah, let's continue your walk through the back streets. There's not a lot to see, so I'm not going to keep the camera on for too long. Just houses, aren't they? At least you can see some of it. flats here as well I can't remember what street this is now oh this is still Regent Street yeah this is still Regent Street which is classed as the same street where the market is on the corner Chandley Road and that's not got many hotels in it now like it used to but yeah, there's Chandra Road looking down there. It's all very colourful, isn't it? So we're in Hornby Road now. The Beachfield Hotel. Over there. All these streets, as I've said before, Palatine, Reeds, Hornby, they all used to be quite busy, popular boarding houses, B&Bs, the most popular one now, the busiest one, and probably the best ones I would think, oh, is Albert Road, 
But there's people stay down there, and I would say there are some nice places down there. And they're all reasonably close to the town. We have been down here before, but every now and again, there's new people want me to come down and look at these places. Just uh, these little pockets of, uh, not this one here, the one I've just passed, these Airbnbs popping up. Blackbird accommodation, apartments, yeah. They're all uh, b and bs all these. Self-sufficient, self-catering type places. Livingstone Road. Nothing exciting down there. This Barons Hotel looks interesting. Three course car, 15 quid. Fully licensed bar open to the public. Breakfast. Yeah. Keep saying I must go in there and uh, have a look at it for you. But yeah, sadly there's a lot of closed businesses down there. Chuck a car on. It's not Chucker Khan, I always think of Chucker Khan when I see that. And if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But uh, Rock Spice Bottle and Lounge, I can even remember that open to be honest with you. So we're just getting down to the end of sort of Hornby Road to Coronation Street. Coronation Street to the right and he goes into town. Show you it up there. But we're going this way. Oh, this guy don't look very promising. Yeah, so this is the other end of town of Coronation Street. See, all these uh, little uh, guest houses look quite nice and reasonable, don't they? I'll cross the road in a minute. Yeah, a lot of them look half decent, don't they? Havelock Street. Down here looks reasonably tidy to a degree. Some are tidier than others. Yes, and that isn't so glamorous. So we're just heading to Meat Central Drive now. <laughs> Obviously, anybody must be aware of this house. A joke's been here so many years. That's coming down to make way for this new development. time one of these shops was open I think the last one I know was that beach barber anyway I'm not going to film too much down here because I'm down here quite a lot filming but uh, yeah I hope you're all enjoying the content I do my best I'll try and get outside Blackpool this week at least once if I can maybe a trip up to Cleveland if you'd all like a trip up to Cleveland again we go up to Cleveland. There's a lot of other places I want to go. It's just, uh, it's, it's how I feel all the time. And I feel better. I'll start venturing out a bit more. But I think I'm going to do one this week. You deserve me to get outside Blackpool and show you something different. Right, I'm on my way back now. Still in Central Drive. Nice picture of the tower there. Plenty of traffic around. 
and let's keep walking. The weather's got better by the way, yes, you probably noticed it was going to go one way or another. But it's uh, it's gone for the better, which is really good. Yeah, the weather has uh, changed for the better. We've moved on a bit in time. Yeah, it's 20 past three. Just been busy with a few things. Just show you around. It's a bit of wind about, I'm afraid, so apologies for that. But no trip with the camera is complete unless we go to the seafront is it so um let's go to the seafront our fish and chips smell is around again So obviously our next biggest thing is the uh, illumination switch on but obviously we have ride the lights before that and then we have run the lights so they will start to set all this up around this area here for the switch on and then after the switch on it will continue to be built up and get ready for the um, Christmas by the sea. Yeah, it's really turned out good. It didn't look very really good when I come out, did it? So I will, yes, I will get myself out of Blackpool and do something on the outskirts. We're in another town this week. Give you a change. But yeah, I will come down here first of all. I love being down here. I can't believe there's kids in, in that sea again. God, it's not that warm. I mean, I'm in only a t-shirt. It's only t-shirt weather. Anyway, we'll leave it there from the seaside. The glorious tower and the blue skies of Blackpool. As you were. A few people outside the beach house having a drink. A bit of St John's Square there. Yeah, just a general Monday walk round just to show you what's going on. My days. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll try and do something different somewhere if I can. Yeah, so we're just back on Dixon Road now. So, uh, let's get across the road here. So yeah, I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a bit of a casual, nothing special walk round, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get a location outside the town this week. If I can get some of my mojo back. 
Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching if you watch to the end. And uh, yeah, thanks again to everybody that watches and everybody that subscribes. And uh, catch you all again very soon. <laughs> bye bye for now.